Hey, welcome to UK World Crafts. In this video, I'll talk you through the books that I use for learning about mushrooms. Some are for mushroom foraging and identification, and some are for learning about how fungi work. So let's take a look at the books that I use for mushroom identification. First of all, we've got the Collins Gem Book of Mushrooms by Patrick Harding. This is an excellent little book for taking with you in the field. For the size of the book, the pictures are fairly good and there's a decent amount of information. There's a surprising amount of species fitted into this tiny book, which include the edible, non-edible and toxic species. I'd recommend this book for anyone with an interest in mushrooms. This is Mushrooms by Roger Phillips, and this has been a lot of people's go-to mushroom guide for many years. It's hugely detailed and has fantastic clear photos. There's so many species in this book that it can be a bit overwhelming at first. A quick flick through will show you what I mean. I can't imagine how much time and work went into finding and photographing these mushrooms. This book is designed for you to bring your finds home and compare the features. When you pick a mushroom, remember to take note of its surroundings and what trees are nearby. Next up is Edible Mushrooms by Jeff Dan. This is my go-to guide when it comes to foraging mushrooms. As the name suggests, it focuses on the edible mushrooms and includes every mushroom a forager would need to know and a lot more. It has just the right amount of information and nice clear photos. I love this book and it feels much more accessible than some of the larger mushroom books. If I was to recommend just one book specifically for foraging mushrooms, it would be this one. These huge books are The Fungi of Temperate Europe, Volumes 1 and 2, by Thomas Lasso and Jens Peterson. So these books are when you know you've gone from an interest in mushrooms to an obsession. They're not cheap, the pair will set you back about £120, but you can sometimes find them on offer if you're lucky. They are beautiful books with incredible photos and a good amount of information. The books are surprisingly easy to navigate. Once you're familiar with the different mushroom groups and families, and the mushroom groups are separated into these wheels, so you can easily find the pages that they're on. The more familiar shaped mushrooms with a stipe and cap are mostly in the first volume, and the second volume mostly deals with slime moulds, brackets, and other types of fungus. And the index for both volumes is at the back of the second volume. These books will have everything you'd need to know about every fungus growing in the UK and temperate Europe. Those are the identification guides I use. And now for the other books that I like that are to do with fungi. So this is Mushrooms by Peter Marin from the British Wildlife Collection. This is a great little book that explains all about what fungi are and how mycelium works. It's a nice, easy read and is accessible for people who are new to learning about fungi. For a fairly small book, you can learn quite a lot. And I'd say it's an easy enough read for older kids who are showing an interest in the subject. This is The Fifth Kingdom by Bryce Kendrick. This is another book for learning about how fungi work, but this one is quite a bit more scientific. It's more of a mycology textbook than a leisurely read but it manages to remain interesting while going into great detail about mycology. I'd only recommend this book if you have a strong interest in fungi. This is a mushroom word guide by Robert Hallock. Now, if you've got an interest in mycology and like me, you're not a mycologist, then I recommend this book to help you learn the terminology. This book is pretty much just a big glossary of terms for me, it comes in handy when reading books like The Fifth Kingdom or mycology articles online. I'll just keep flicking through this book to understand what they mean. My knowledge of mushrooms comes from a foraging point of view, but the more I read and research about fungi, the more I'm amazed by them. And that leads me into this book, Entangled Life by Merlin Sheldrake. 
Now, if you haven't read this book yet, I highly recommend you get a copy. This book is incredible. It talks about how fungi have shaped our world and potential scientific breakthroughs. The thing that stuck with me is just how little we really know about fungi. So those are the books that I use for mushroom identification or learning about fungi. If you've got any other mushroom books that you enjoy, then please put them down in the comments. I also recommend taking a look at firstnature.com. For me, it's the best website that I've found for going into detail about mushroom identification. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I've also recently made a video on the best books for plant foraging, so check that out too, and thanks for watching.